most weeks I spend a couple of days in the simulator just developing their car. I don't often know what is going on because the engineers are doing their work. I just sit in there, do, do the laps, give the best feedback I can. So we'll be doing a couple of changes to the track. Copy. It's a lot of hours, the team put a lot of effort into this. Away from the simulator I spend a lot of time training. I knew being part of the, the junior driver programme, a chance of driving the cars was, was always possible. So I knew that I needed to be physically ready, so ever since the end of 2016 I've been training like crazy to, um, to make sure I'll be ready at any point. If they call me up and say, right George, you're driving tomorrow, I needed to be ready. My goal is to go into Formula One one day. And as everybody knows, they are extremely physical and tough cars to drive, especially for the 2017 season. So I'm training twice a day, five days a week at the moment, putting in all the hours while I can and just working as hard as possible really to make sure I'm ready for the next step. So when I first moved into single seaters a few years ago, the fitness side of things really started to play a factor. So certainly if I could turn back time or give any advice to the younger generation, it's not that important at that stage of your career to be ultra fit and ultra strong, but in the long run, it will help you for when you do need to be at that level. When you first move into single seaters and start to train harder or move up the ranks into higher formulas, you'll be from a much uh, higher level from the beginning. Obviously it's an amazing opportunity for me and I'm going to take it and do the best job possible. The main thing for me is to, to win my championship this year which is the GP3 and then hopefully the dream comes secondary after that. I'm really excited to feel the downforce on the car. Obviously 2017 Formula 1 cars have made a, a huge step up in, in the downforce and the, the whole factor of the car is just a massive step. No, I'm really looking forward to having this feeling and just seeing what it's going to be like to drive one of these beasts.